morning. I'm Sandy Sanderson, Executive Vice President and General Manager of CFTR. This is a sad yet exciting moment in the history of this incredible radio station. It marks the end of one era and the beginning of a new one. And like all major transitions, it involves mixed emotions. For nearly a quarter of a century, CFTR has been a powerhouse of today's music, appealing to a large and vibrant audience. Over the past several years, however, the popularity of contemporary music on the AM band has diminished, and we find ourselves in a situation that requires a change. Effective immediately, CFTR will become known as 680 News, providing Toronto with an innovative information service that has never been available in this city or in this country before. In the next few months, you'll become aware of how the new 680 News will work for you, and I'm confident it'll soon become part of your day. It's been a fabulous 22 years, and on behalf of the entire staff of CFTR, thank you for your generous support over the years. I'm sure the next 22 will prove to be just as exciting and challenging. But for now, this chapter has ended. And it's time to move on. Farewell to the old. Hello to the news. This is 680 News. Good morning. It's 14 degrees at 6 o'clock on this Monday, June the 7th. I'm Dick Smythe, and here's what's happening. There will be normal GO Transit service this morning. Service on the weekend was normal as well. Prime Minister Brian Mulroney, one week left in power, said farewell at Bay Como, Quebec last night. Canada's first all-news radio station is on the air. All news, all the time. After a Sunday of meetings, Premier Bob Ray says that his goal remains the same, to trim $2 billion from provincial expenditures. Morning showers, then sunny and warm. More rain forecast for tonight. I'm Peter Gross in sports. Jack Morris was himself yesterday, unfortunately. Big upset in the French Open and a miracle finish in men's golf. This is John Hinnon with business. The Nikkei is down 38 points, gold is down $2, and the bank rate is expected to increase tomorrow. Now, traffic and weather every 10 minutes on the ones. First, for the check of 680 News, can tell traffic. Here's Russ Holden. Thank you, Nick. Good morning. Traffic around Metro just starting to fill in. Roads are a little bit wet. Some light rain persisting. And as a result, could, roads could be a little bit slippery, but no problems to tell you about so far. Accident-free TTC routes, they're all just beginning to build. Reasonable start to the morning. And we'll have another update in 10 minutes. A disturbance pass in southern Ontario is bringing cloudy skies and a chance of showers this morning. About a 30% chance. That disturbance will pass through the area quite quickly. Following that, we'll have a mix of sun and clouds for the rest of the day. Winds will be light today and a high of 24 degrees is expected. That's 2 degrees above normal. This evening, an overnight cloud on the increase. There is a rain beginning just before dawn, overnight low of 14 degrees. I'm Michelle Skinner from the Weather Network for 680.